from NBC News, this is Today. Up next, a very serious summer hazard, your lawnmower. That's right after this. We're back now, and this morning we're kicking off a series called Today Investigates Summer Hazards. You know all about the things you've been told to do over and over again, like wear sunscreen at the beach. But there are some other hazards that crop up at this time of year you may not think about on a daily basis. Natalie Morales is here as we start with lawnmowers today, Natalie. And again, most people think ho-hum, not a big deal. Exactly, but Matt, uh, something to be so careful about, because with their sharp, fast-moving blades, they do much more than just cut grass, whether you push them or use the electric mowers. As one family found out, if you're not extremely careful, there can be tragic consequences, as one family found out when children are around, and a warning to parents. This is a story that is extremely difficult to watch. I don't know what possessed me to get the mower out and mow. It was a sunny autumn afternoon. Tracy Lindley was on a ride on lawn mower. Her husband Chuck was in the garage as their three-year-old son Mason and his friend played nearby. Mason always knew not to come by the mower. They were always either on the porch or in the house when one of us mowed. In what seemed like seconds, the Lindley's world turned upside down. I had ran in to use the restroom and ran upstairs real quick and just happened to look out the window and saw Mason walk into the mower. I could not get the window open fast enough. I had backed up and I felt a bump. And I looked down and there was Mason's face and he was mouthing, Mommy. So my first thought was, I have passed out somewhere. This is not really happening. I tried picking up the mower and I couldn't pick it up and I kept screaming, screaming, screaming for somebody to help me. And then I kept screaming for Jesus, don't take my baby. Chuck sped outside to help his wife lift the mower. I didn't even know what I was gonna find when I got there because I could only see him disappear under the mower when she backed up. Amazingly, Mason's face and limbs were basically intact, but the blade had torn a hole in his torso. Chuck called 911. Within minutes, the paramedics were there. Mason was transported to Duke University Hospital. It's a sight you'll never get out of your mind. His injuries were extensive. Almost all of his internal organs had either to be repaired or removed, and it extended not only throughout his abdomen, but into his chest, into his lungs as well. Getting through his first operation was a feat. I still never forget that we commented to ourselves, why is this boy still alive? Why didn't he die out at his parents' house or en route here? Miraculously, Mason made it through surgery. When they tell me that he may not live the next 24 hours, I'm like, how can I live with this? Knowing that I did this to my son. But Mason improved and went home after weeks of therapy. Yeah. Sadly, Dr. Rice has seen too many of these accidents. Unfortunately, severe mangling lawnmower accidents are fairly frequent. Most kids get their feet and legs caught on the lawnmower, and they usually lose those parts of their, their body, and those can't be retrieved. In fact, every year, 8,300 children, 15 and under, go to emergency rooms from lawnmower accidents, and a quarter of them are under the age of five. Angela Michelide of the Home Safety Council says accidents like this can be avoided. Children under the age of six should be kept inside the home, and older children should be kept well away from the lawnmower when it's in use. Oftentimes, too, parents will place children on their laps to mow the lawn, thinking it's a fun game or activity, but it's not. Children should be taught never to play with the lawnmower, even when it's in the garage or another storage area. It's not a toy. Almost three years and 32 surgeries later, Mason, six years old, took a turn for the worse. Complications from a liver infection landed him back in the hospital. And I was sitting on one side and Chuck was on the other. And I remember asking the nurse, which machine do I need to look at? And she said, honey, he's already gone. The Lindleys now speak out for lawnmower safety. We've stopped people with their children on the mower. And I've said, let me tell you about my son, Mason. Anybody that mows needs to realize what is possible that could happen and what precautions should I take when I'm using this piece of equipment. We want families to be safe. Uh, I don't 
don't even know where to start. I mean, it's so tragic, tragic that story. story. I guess what, what that woman said in the piece is the most important thing. You're using one of these things, whatever kind of lawnmower it is, young kids should be in should the house. Should be away under, under the age of six, and nobody should be powering this unless they're the age of 16 or over. Because you have to think of this, this is like a moving vehicle without rear view mirrors or windows that you can look behind. You have to think of that as, as you know, this is a moving vehicle that could injure somebody behind you, and it has blades. I can't tell you the number of times, Natalie, I drive down the street and I see people mowing the lawn on these things and they're wearing headsets, they're listening to music. Or putting and their children on their lap. Right, yeah, and, you and see them the giving rides. And that's the thing that you really have to encourage kids to be afraid of something like this, not to be on your lap, because then they see you operating it, they think it's okay, they also see what you're doing and they learn how to operate it. So important to think of that as well. There are some safety features we should point out, for example, on this John Deere that actually don't, that they have a special safety feature that if you're mowing in reverse, which is something you really want to encourage parents to always do is look behind when you're mowing in reverse. You actually have to engage this special RIO button, this reverse implement a button as well. And then this also has a feature that if you were to get out off the mower, it stops. Right, you, once it's, the pressure is taken off the, the seat, it shuts off, down. It stops. So that's All something right. to think about as well. But even for those, uh, the electric or gas powered uh, mowers, children should not be operating it unless they're about 12 years of age. So they know what they're doing and it's important to prepare your lawn, prepare areas, and always, Matt, keep in mind, we have some safety gear here as well. Think about that as you're out there. Steel-toed boots are great. Yeah. Goggles, protective eyewear, right. and even earplugs, just right. to make sure that you're getting all the right safety gear. Important information, Natalie. Thank you very much.